According to Harvard Business Review, 84% of CEOs who have had mentors and said that they've avoided costly mistakes because of their mentors. 69% said mentors help them make better decisions. So with tomorrow being National Mentoring Day, we thought we'd bring on the original shark from the hit show, Shark Tank, Kevin Harrington, and his mentee, Mark Tim. Good morning to you, gentlemen. Welcome. Listen, I've, I've, I've got to admit, I've had mentors throughout my career. I'm so grateful. I'm curious, how how did the two of you meet? Mark well, loves to tell that story. Go ahead, Mark. I, I do because, uh, you know, we wrote this book together, Mentor to Millions, and the book itself is really, you know, the, the example of how we met. We met through a mutual mentor. So when I was a young man, I had Zig Ziglar, the motivational speaker, as a mentor. And when Kevin was a younger guy, he had Zig Ziglar as a mentor. I didn't know Kevin. Kevin didn't know me. But we had this desire to carry on the legacy of our mentor, and so we connected with the family, and it was the son of Zig Ziglar, the son and daughter of Zig Ziglar that introduced uh, us together. So I met my mentor, So, and then obviously it led to an incredible journey that we've had and ultimately to a book that we hope to impact millions through this message of mentorship. Mentorship is so important. Um, Kevin, you guys both wrote the book, obviously he was just talking about it, Mentor to Millions, Secrets of Success in Business and Beyond. Uh, tell us a little bit more about it and uh, what you want people reading this book to walk away with ultimately. So, yeah, thank you. So I think I've been an entrepreneur for close to 40 years now, made a lot of mistakes in the early days. And when I got mentors, I looked for certain expertise from them. So I, I, I needed finance mentors to help me raise capital. And an entrepreneur can only be so successful if they don't have enough money, right? So I think that the message that, that Mentor to Millions uh, is, is leaving is how we, we want to we show you in the book how you're going to get a mentor, how to be the mentor's best student, and how to get the most out of a mentor. Because this is important because you've mentioned you've had some yeah. mentors. I've had some. I've had some mentees that I couldn't continue to be a mentor to because they weren't good students. So it's important across the board, not only get a good one, be a good student, and then after you get done being mentored, you pay it forward and you become a mentor to another mentee. Yeah, I had a mentor who once told me, he said, the one thing I want you to do is pay it forward. So that's what I try to do. But let me ask you this, uh, going off of what you just said, Kevin, sometimes mentors fall in your lap, right? But let's say you're yeah. looking for one, where do you start? I, I always say you start from within. And the first thing, raise your hand, say that you need one. I mean, literally in today's world, you could almost just kind of put some messaging out on the LinkedIn or social media and, and you're going to get some response. But in the old days, as when I was sitting there trying to think, how do I get someone? I, I, I reached out to my inner circle I, I, and I used the, the, the saying, who do you write checks to? Accountants and lawyers and, and in my case, media companies and fulfillment centers. People that want to see you succeed, they, they would be they're going to do more business with you if they help you get someone to help you grow your business. So reach out to those around you. Also join organizations and clubs and chambers of commerce. And in today's world, there's meetup groups and all kinds of, we, we belong to high level uh, kind of groups that mentor. There's one called the board of advisors, for example, there's 200 people inside board of advisors. When you join BA, you get mentors that are going to help you build your business. So it's around you, but you first have to just raise your hand and say, I need help. Hey, I need one. Yeah. Just one more question, uh, Mark. Uh, why do you think mentors are so important to our society overall, right? Yeah, so right now, if you if you Google this, you'd find that less than half of the people out there have mentors. So you have the haves and the have-nots. One of the reasons that we wrote the book is because we figured out that the real secret to great success, if you've got a product, a purpose, or a passion, the way to get that to the world is through mentors. And the super successful people, the icons that we look at, they all have a secret. And that secret is they had mentors. Now, the timeliness of this, we turned this manuscript in before the pandemic, before COVID. But I'm here to tell you, I don't think in modern history, there's ever been a time where people were more willing to help their neighbor, to help their fellow businessman, to help their fellow entrepreneur than right now. So if you're out there, and you need help, if you're out there and you're trying to start a business, if you're trying to pivot in these crazy times, 
mentor is how you can get it done. And that's why we're so excited about the book. We're so excited that it's out now. And we're already getting feedback from people that have read it saying it's changing their life and it's putting them on a trajectory that they know they're going to look back at this time and say, this was a critical point in their time because of mentors in their life. Okay, that's that's good to know. I look forward to actually reading the book. So I guess the secret is out. The secret is out. It's all about <laughs> mentors and, and mentoring others. Kevin and Mark, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Tom. Pre appreciate it. Good, yeah, good of to be course. Here. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks for talking to us.